first reported on a labor issue for New Mexico chili farmers. I have since then attended a New Mexico Association chili board meeting to hear their concerns. Just now, I talked to Lieutenant Governor Howie Morales, who tells me what the solutions are. Chili farmers across New Mexico are having the same problem. Workers. Oh God, we need a lot of workers. This is a problem for farmers and producers. Across the inside, we're actually seeing the labor shortage a little bit worse than that. So we're seeing a real lack of workers interested in doing seasonal work. After talking to the New Mexico Chile Association, they say solving this problem by hiring immigrants is not that easy. And I think that's something we need the public to understand that we can't just hire um, anybody that crosses over. They have to be legal. And now Lieutenant Governor Howie Morales is trying to help solve the problem. One thing farmers and producers asked was to end supplemental unemployment insurance. This is an issue that the industry has been facing for many years. Uh, before there was COVID, before there was unemployment benefits, there was a workforce shortage. And so we're seeing that being magnified in the pandemic. One of the solutions right now is utilizing federal funds, $5 million worth. This is to increase worker wages. They're confident they can develop more of a workforce, that we can get those out in the field and to make sure that we can harvest our crop. The New Mexico Secretary of Agriculture is figuring out exactly how to divide up those $5 million between green chili farmers and other farmers in our state. In Albuquerque, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. State Republican leaders have drafted letters to the governor on the worker shortage. They say additional benefits are keeping New Mexicans inside instead of out in the field, putting a greater burden on the chili farmers themselves. But the governor's office says the cause and effect don't match.